In tonight's Healthier Me, nearly 40 million Americans smoke cigarettes, and now more than ever, they're being encouraged to quit. Valley News Team's Danielle Barber explains why it's important to take preventative action when it comes to lung health. I was scared. I was very scared. I thought, oh my God. Renee Buckman is a former smoker. Her doctor urged her to get a lung cancer screening, which she now credits for saving her life. Without the screening, I wouldn't have known. And now that they did find it, I got it at a very early stage. The screening is aimed at current smokers or former smokers who have quit within the last 15 years between the ages of 55 and 77. The sooner you quit, the better. Uh, but just because you quit doesn't mean you're not at risk for lung cancer. And the further out you get, the lower the risk becomes. But, but certainly, um, you're still at risk, even though you've quit smoking. Even if you only quit smoking for a day, exercise physiologist Zeke Reynolds says any little bit will help. You notice health benefits if you've quit for an hour. Um, but yeah, one day, one week, one year. And then, like I said, um, once you get 15 years out, we don't even recommend it because you're essentially at the same risk as a non-smoker. Because lung cancer is often not detected until it's at a later stage, the screening can be life-saving. Early stage lung cancer is actually very treatable and curable, um, as we've seen with some of our patients. Um, the later it gets, obviously, the more difficult and complex it becomes uh, to treat. People that have lung cancer, they don't know it until it is at a bad stage. And because there's no pain, there's no really any signs. Reynolds recommends patients discuss the screening with their doctor to see if it's a good fit for them. Danielle Barber, Valley News Live. Patients need to be referred by their primary doctor to get the lung screening. And if you meet the criteria and the results show any type of growth, you'll be referred to the appropriate care. Coming up later in sports, North Dakota women's basketball hosting the Iowa Hawkeyes tonight in Grand Forks. Beth has highlights from the Big Ten test. And some retailers are making it easy for you to complete your holiday shopping by allowing those on your list to register.